Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. And here we are uh, back as promised. Uh, I'm adding an extra series of modules to our card course on using Framer for agencies. So a bunch of folks have asked about, you know, other alternatives to card for augmenting or improving or supplementing the offers you're making to your uh, ideal audience, your quintessential client. And Essentially, I am a dummy when it comes to Framer. I have really no experience with the platform, uh, but I do what I always do, which is start by investing a little bit of money in some quality templates, which I've done here, and then really quickly learn how to edit, modify, you know, iterate, and I can't even say improve in this case, because I'm certainly not going to improve on the base sort of aesthetics of, of a template or a theme like this, but I can you know, really quickly make it my own and then essentially figure out some cool and creative ways to offer this to folks in our entrepreneurial orbit. So folks in our, you know, audience, our target market, et cetera, et cetera. In this case, uh, we're targeting authors and therapists for these two different projects that we have coming this summer. One is a tiny book about.com. That's largely my own focus uh, going forward. And then we have these other sort of satellite, you know, kind of experimental projects. One of them is called Theralist, where ostensibly we are, you know, creating tiny lists of big ideas for mental health professionals in our course community. And one of the things I'm certain a lot of these folks are going to want is a you know, simple replacement for their current social media style, uh, you know, profile page, link in bio style page, etc. So lo and behold, here we are, I bought this template, and um, I'm modifying it, I'm going to show you in our car, uh, <laughs> in our course community, exactly how dumb, dumb, like myself, who has no design chops, and you know, can't code and all those things can come up with an irresistible offer that targets a, you know, ideal audience for our particular use case and how so too can you. This site looks fantastic, I think. Uh, it took me the better part of 45 minutes to do. I, and half of that was just learning how to use Framer and, you know, essentially I, rather than put one of my own videos in, in this, I actually included this Rick Rubin interview uh, with Anderson Cooper, simply because something that he said caught my eye or caught my ear, I should say, which is he doesn't know how to operate a soundboard. He doesn't have any technical expertise, but he knows what he likes. And that's essentially, you know, what he brings to the, you know, the, the clients, the audience that he serves by dint of simply having decent taste and being able to export that taste to other people, again, by finding really quality sounds and music and entertainers and performers and artists, et cetera, that can really, you know, that he can, um, you know, improve upon simply because he has a good sense of taste. Anyway, I'm saying that badly, but I think there's something to be said for, you know, not constraining yourself by virtue of what you can't do and simply thinking about what you like, what appeals to you, what looks good, and what you think would look good or better on your clients, you know, websites or projects or platforms or communities. So, you know, I know what I do well, and I know what I don't do well. And certainly, you know, designing websites is not what I do well, but it's also not going to be a liability, right? So, uh, you know, again, I'm going to cover this in the course, but essentially this took almost no time. And the salient pieces of this process for me were including these um, da digital downloads that we can offer, that we're currently offering through our Lemon Squeezy store, which this makes really easy to do. And, you know, you can make the edits. This is the back end of a framer so you can see the difference between something like this and you know something like card which is much more uh, rudimentary and basic this is a much more sophisticated uh, system but at the same time or, or a, a much more sophisticated piece of software but it 
you know, it was really easy to learn the basics. And again, uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I created that particular landing page, which, you know, is going to be, I think, really appealing to our ideal audience and quintessential uh, community. Okie doke. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Again, thank you so much as always for watching. The uh, These modules will be added over the course of the next week or so. So if you're in the course already, you can access those as you'll get an email when they, uh, you know, when they drop. And if not, join us and you'll learn not only a great marketing system for card, but you'll also learn how to use something like Framer to deliver high end experiences to your clients uh, really, really quickly using templates. Thanks so much. As always, have a wonderful day. I appreciate you and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.